What is going on guys, it's me Randall465 and welcome to today's this quick, simple, easy tutorial on how to increase your upload speed while live streaming on Twitch or YouTube. Um, but for today, we're going to be doing Twitch and the program we're going to be used to live stream is XSplit, uh, but you can use OBS which is the open broadcast software. Um, so yeah, first off guys, let's get straight into this, let's do no messing. Um, all you want to do is you want to come down into the description and hit this page here and you want to download TCP Relay. So if you've got a 32 bit PC you want to get 32 uh, bit or if you've got a 64 bit PC you want to get the 64 bit. So to find out how you got that is you want to go to start, control panel, system and security and then system. And then here at the system type it will say what operating system you're using as you can see mine 64 so I got the 64 bit. So, once you go ahead and download that, you want to put the folder somewhere that you remember where it is. So, I put mine on my desktop as I use it quite often as I do always stream to Twitch. So, go follow my Twitch for Battlefield, Minecraft, you know, all types. All types of mayhem. So, yeah, guys, it would I really would appreciate it if you come along and took part in the stream. Um, so, once you've got that anyway, all you want to do is you want to go to this folder and you want to open up TCP Relay. Not TCP Relay C, just TCP Relay. Um, so you get this little box here, so we'll just leave that box down here. Um, now you don't want to touch anything here. Uh, all you want to do is load your Twitch servers and then make sure you are, you have selected um, the live, I don't know if that's an I or an L. Whatever it is, it's justin.tv forward slash app, so make sure you copy that one. And that one is... Where is that one? I do not know myself. There we go. Uh, make sure you ch select your area. So mine is London, UK, as I I'm literally like 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes away from London. Um, so once you've got that, all you want to go ahead and do, you want to open up your live broadcasting software. So as I said, mine's XSplit. Takes extremely long, well, quite a while to load, if you ask me. Whenever we get there. Now my Xbox is already on, um, and FIFA 14 will be in the background once it's finished us offloading. As I've already got my scene set up to how they need to be. Um, so there we go. There's my FIFA 14. Um, so yeah, next thing, all you want to do, you want to come over to the broadcast tab. Now I'm going to show you what my download speed would be without TCP relay. Um, download speed, my upload speed without TCP relay would be. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and start it now anyway. It's not going to make a difference. It's started as you can see anyway, it says started. So, we're going to come to the broadcast tab, then we're going to go to Twitch UK's Randall. We're going to open that, and uh, we're just going to quickly test this bandwidth. Now, I think it's normally about 1700 um, to 1800 that I normally get. Uh, it depends really on your internet speed, so it's nothing to do with, you know, uh, oh, why have you got better than me? It's just a matter of fact of what your internet speed is. If you don't know how to check that, go to speedtest.net. Link to that will be also in the description. So, my my speed is 1,791 without TCP Relay running. So, to get TCP Relay to work, all you want to simply do is you want to come to Broadcast. You want to go down to Add a Channel and add a custom RTMP so you'll end up with this box here so I'm gonna open up my pre-made one um, <coughs> now everything here is what you're going to need obviously apart from the stream name which will be your stream key and I'm gonna show you right now how to get your stream key so to get your stream key from Twitch all you wanna do is you wanna go over to Twitch you wanna hit the dashboard tab then you wanna go to stream key and then you're going to end up with this screen here, you just want to simply click show key, now it's really important that you don't show anyone your key, as then they can stream onto your channel without you knowing, blah 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 blah, um, so yeah, all you want to do is you want to copy your whole stream key, make sure there's no spaces, really really important that there's no spaces, so it'll be the tip of the letters, either side, highlighted in blue only, no gaps, no nothing, you guys should understand that, pretty easy and simple, so once you go ahead and got that, all you want to simply do then is you want to come back over to Twitch. Uh, no, you want to simply come back over to XSplit. And then uh, in your stream name, you want to paste in your stream key. Um, so your share link will be your 
twitch.tv forward slash whatever your username is. So mine's www.twitch.tv forward slash ukzrandall. Um, and yeah, so you just make sure you leave a name there and your RTMP. Make sure you copy everything else and just put in your share link and your stream name. And yeah. So we're going to try uploading at 1800 kilobytes per second. So let's go ahead and test this bandwidth location. We'll test this bandwidth. Um, as you see, TCP relay is still started. Now, if you watch carefully, the green bars on um, TCP relay will now start showing, as you can see. So it says attempting to stream at 1896 kilobytes per second. So while we just wait 40 odd seconds for that to do. Very long time to wait, but definitely worth it, guys. 100% worth it. All this program does, um, it simply just uh, creates a direct route for your stream to go directly to Twitch and not make any stops off, like, say it don't go from my PC to another server, from that server to Twitch. Um, it cuts that out, it just goes from my PC straight to Twitch. 100% easy, no fuss about it. Um, and as you can see, uh, the highest that it's hit is 2,086 kilobytes per second, and my average is 1,889. So that is literally just below what I want, but it's green, so it's telling me I can do it because obviously my max was that down below. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean that that's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and look at the stream while we go to broadcast. So all we're gonna do is go to broadcast and then just go to the channel that you just created. And we'll just wait a couple of second, second, seconds, seconds, seconds. <laughs> um, yeah. So there we go. We're going live. Loading the video. I think it's only just taking its time. Obviously, where I'm doing two things at once. I mean, I'm recording, got it split open, and trying to watch a video all at once. So I don't think that's ever going to work out too well unless you got probably the most expensive PC going. So if you keep an eye on the TCP relay also, it's constantly on the go, uh, it tells you what the speed it's being uploaded at. Now for 720, anything, I think it's been 1250 to 1500, I think anything between that is uh, 720p HD. Um, now I have no idea why that ain't actually playing in the background. Uh, this happened not long ago, so... I don't know what causes this guys, I have no idea, it's probably because I'm recording at the same time. So all you want to do is, you just want to remove your capture card. So we just want to click remove, and then we're going to re-add our capture card. And there we go, so that's problem now solved. Uh, so you just want to bring that back out to full size. And then obviously you want that down the bottom. You ready? It would now come up there in a second. I mean, you just got to think about the delay time. Now, if you can see a lag, it's not the actual video lagging at all. Um, it's obviously because I'm recording at the same time. So, yeah, guys, you literally go ahead now. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Show your support as it does mean a lot. Um, but other than that, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick, easy, simple tutorial on how to increase your upload rate. And it's me, Randall465, and I'm out. Adios guys and enjoy the rest of your day.